Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we'll discuss about addition and subtraction of the similar fraction. But before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like this video lesson and subscribe na rin kayo. Our objectives, first define the similar fractions and add or subtract the similar fractions. Fraction with different denominators, so we have two methods here na pwede niyong gamitin. So, like for example, we have A over B plus C over D. And A over B minus C over D, first change the fraction into similar fraction using the LCD. Or we can use the butterfly method by using this uh, uh, process. So, you are going to multiply the denominator, uh, denominator. so B times D, so iyan yung magiging denominators natin. And then, A times D plus B times C. So, ito yung tinatawag nating butterfly method. Same with subtraction. And after D is, pwede rin, no, up, kung ito yung gagamitin natin, after changing the fraction into similar fraction using the LCD and using this method, after that, we can proceed now to addition or subtraction of fraction. So, we can add and subtract or subtract rather. So, for example, we have 1 half plus 3 fourth. So, anong unang gagawin? So, first, uh, find the LCD of 2 and 4. So, laging tatandaan sa denominator natin, kinukuha yung LCD natin. So, the uh, yung less common denominator na pwede natin kunin sa 2 and 4. So, makikita natin. So, ano yung mga uh, denominators na pwede natin? 2 4, 6, and 8 sa 2. So, marami pa yan. No? Pwede pa natin dugtungan yan. Kung wala pa tayong makita na least common denominator between 2 and 4. Since dito, makikita na natin between 2 and 4. So, meron na agad tayong makikita na least common denominator. And that is 4. So, yung LCD natin sa 1 half plus 3 fourth is 4. So, after natin ma-identify yung LCD natin, so, we can proceed now. So, i-divide natin itong 4 sa denominator natin at i-multiply sa numerator. So, 4 divided by 2, that is 2, times 1, the answer is 2. 4 divided by 4, the answer is 1, times 3 is equal to 3. So, 2 plus 3. Then, 2 plus 3, that is 5, and copy the LCD or the denominator. So, that is 4. As you can see, uh, nakamix ano, improper fraction tayo. So, kailangan natin i-rewrite into improper fraction. So, magiging 1 and 1 fourth. So, sabi ko nga kanina, meron tayong dalawang methods. Pwede sa yung gamit yung LCD at using the butterfly method. So, paano yung butterfly method? So, 1 half. So, anong gagawin natin kanina? So, i-multiply lang natin yung denominators natin. So, 2 times 4, that is 8. And then, next, multiply natin ito, yung 1 and 4, and that is 4, plus, no, plus the product of 2 times 3, so that is 6. So, 4 plus 6, the answer is 10, copy the denominator, which is 8, then 10 over 8 is improper fraction, so you rewrite natin as mixed number, so that is 1 and 2 over 8. So, ang 2 over 8 na to ay pwede pa natin i lowest term. Okay? So, pwede pa natin i lowest term in 2 over 8. So, that is 1 and 1 fourth. So, as you can see, class, pareho lang sila. So, nasa sa inyo lang, class, kung ano yung uh, gagamitin yung method. So, pwedeng ito or pwede rin ito. Okay, let's try another example. We have 2 third plus 4 over 6. So, using the LCD, okay, so, ano yung least common denominator ng 3 and 6? 6. Okay. So, yung LCD natin is 6. So, 6 divide 3, that is 2, times 2, the answer is 4. Plus, 6 divided by 6, that is 1, times 4, the answer is 4. So, 4 plus 4, the answer is 8 over 6. And then, since improper fraction ito, gagawin natin mixed number. So, 1 and 2 over 6. So, si 2 over 6 ay pwede pa natin i-lowest term. And that is 1 and 1 third. 
So using the butterfly method, pwede rin naman, no? using the butterfly method, so 2 third plus 4 over 6. So mumultiply natin yung denominator natin, 3 times 6, 18. And then 2 times 6, that is 12, plus 3 times 4, the answer is 12. So 12 plus 12, 24, copy the denominator, which is 18. So 24 over 18, gawin natin a uh, mixed number so that is 1 and 6 over 18 si 6 over 18 pwede natin in lowest term so that is 1 and 1 third okay more examples for addition of the similar fractions 1 fourth plus negative 3 over 6 so meron tayong isa ditong uh, iba yung sign so anong gagawin natin so, applying the rules for uh, integers, no? no kapag nag a tayo ng unlike sign. So, apply natin niyon. So, using the LCD, so the uh, least common denominator of 4 and 6 is 12. So, 12 ang gagamitin natin LCD. So, 12 divide 4, that is 3, times 1, so the answer is 3. Plus... 12 divided by negative 6, so the answer is negative 2, times 3, the answer is negative 6. So, 3 plus negative 6, so the answer is negative 3. Since mas mataas yung, uh, yung sign ng mas mataas nating numbers, uh, negative, so negative 3 yung sagot over 12. Or pwede pa natin to i-reduce or i-lowest term. So, kukuha pa natin yung lowest term, so that is negative 1 fourth. Okay, using the butterfly method, so 4 times 6, that is 24. 1 times 6, that is 6. 4 times negative 3, that is negative 12. So 6 plus negative 12, the answer is negative 6 over 24. So negative 6 over 24, pag ni lowest term natin, that is negative 1 fourth. Okay, let us proceed now for subtraction. So subtraction of the similar fraction, 2 fourth minus 3 over 8. So, may, ang denominator natin is 4 and 8. So, using the LCD, so, ano yung LCD ni 4 and 8? That is uh, 8. Okay. So, 8 yung gagamitin natin. So, 8 divided by 4, that is 2 times 2, the answer is 4. Minus 8 divided by 8, the answer is 1 times 3, the answer is 3. So, 4 minus 3, that is 1 over 8. So, final answer na to. Hindi na natin siya. Uh, in, ano na siya, no? Nakas, in simplest form na yung answer natin. Next is 2 over 4 using the butterfly method. So, 4 times 8, that is 32. Then, 2 times 8, 16. Minus 3 times 4, that is 12. 16 minus 12, the answer is 4 over 32. So, pwede natin i-lowest term to, and that is equal to 1 over 8. Another example, 4 over 6 minus 2 third. So, again, yung LCD ng 3 and 6 natin, so makakuha natin by using this one. So, pag gumagawa kayo ng LCD, yung multiples niya ang gagawin natin. Halimbawa, yung 3. So, that is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and that, 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 or so and 6 naman, 6, 12, so yung multiples ng 6. So, 6, 12, 18, 24. And then, tingnan nyo yung least common denominator nila. Ano yung common na yung pinakamababa no? na multiples na? So, that is 6. So, yung LCD natin dito ay 6. So, 6 divided by 6, that is 1 times 4, the answer is 4. 6 divided by 3, that answer is 2 times 2. That is 4. And 4 minus 4, 0 over 6. 0 over 6, the answer is 0. So, kapag yung numerator natin is 0, kahit ano pa yung denominator natin, basta yung numerator natin 0, the answer is 0. So, using the butterfly method, 6 times 3, the answer is 18. And then, get the product of 4 and 3. So, that is 12 minus 6 times 2, the answer is 12. So, 12 minus 12 is also 0. 0 over 18, the answer is 0. Okay, next. 1 and 3 fourth minus 2 and 2 thirds. So, anong gagawin natin para mas madali ito? Gawin natin improper fractions. So, gawin natin improper fractions. Or, 
Una muna gawin natin, uh, kunin muna natin pala yung LCD nila. So, yung LCD ni 4 and 3. So, ang makikita natin, what is the least common denominator ni 4 and 3? That is 12. So, yung least common denominator natin is 12. So, again, ang sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, gagawin natin uh, from mixed numbers, gagawin natin improper fraction. So, 1 and 3 fourth, that is 7 over 4. 2 and 2 third, that is 8, min 8 over 3. So, 7 over 4 minus 8 over 3. So, ang LCD natin is 12. So, 12 divide 4, that is 3, times 7, minus 12 divide 3, the answer is 4, times 8. So, 21 minus 32 over 12, and 21 minus 32 is negative 11 over 12. So, using the, uh, this another example, no, without using uh, the FOIL method. So, we can check 8 minus 4, oh, using the LCD now, 8 minus 4, 2 over 5. So, paano natin gagawin to Hindi naman natin pwedeng i-direct na 8 minus 4, tapos copy nila yung 2 fifth. So, kapag ganito class, meron tayong whole number, tapos meron tayong mixed number, Okay, pag nagma-minus tayo ng whole number sa mix number, ito gagawin din natin mix. So sa anong paraan na magiging mix number tong whole number na to? Since 5 yung denominator natin, babawasan natin ng isa ito. So gagawin natin 7 and then 5 and uh, gawin natin 7 tapos 5 over 5. So alam natin na 5 over 5 is 1 kapag inad natin sa 7, 8 pa rin yun. So i-rewrite natin yung 8 as mix number din. So Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, si 8, babawasan natin ng isa. So, magiging 7. So, yung denominator natin na 5. So, para maging uh, equal pa rin ito sa 8. So, ganito siya gagawing mix number. 5 over 5. 5 over 5 is 1 plus 7, 8 pa rin. So, equal pa rin sila. So, kapag ganitong case na encounter nyo, ganito ang gagawin nyo sa whole number. Kapag i-minus natin siya sa isang mix number. So, Meron na tayo, pwede na natin gawin. Okay, so since uh, yung similar na, no? uh, yung common na yung denominator, uh, same na pala yung denominator natin, pwede na tayo mag-direct. So, ang una, i-minus natin yung whole number natin. Okay, so ganito, di ba? Pag similar fraction na tayo, pag similar na, same na yung denominator natin. So, ang gagawin natin, pwede na natin i-minus ito, yung whole number. 7 minus 4, that is 3. And then, ima-minus natin yung numerator natin. And that is 5 minus 2. The answer is 3 over 5. Or copy the denominator. So, the answer is 3 and 3 over 5. So, let's try to answer this problem solving. Number 1, it took Nick 5 thirds of an R to complete his math homework on Monday and 3 fourths of an hour of, on Tuesday. So, how many hours did he take to complete his homework altogether? So, first, we are uh, 5 thirds. Then, uh, noong Tuesday, meron siyang 3 fourths. So, add lang to Addition lang. Kasi, basta ang question, altogether, pagsasamahin. So, 5 over 3 plus 3 over 4. So, since di similar yung fraction natin, pwede tayo i-apply yung LCD. So, yung LCD ni 3 and 4, that is 12. So, 12 divide 3, that is 4 times 5, 20. 12 divide 4, 3. 3 times 3, the answer is 9. Add the numerator. So, 20 plus 9, 29. And copy the denominator, that is 12. So, 29 over 12. So, improper fraction tayo, gawin nating mixed number. And that is 2 and 5 over 12. So, we can say that uh, Nick, took two, fa 2 and 5 over 12 hours to complete his homework. Mary's art class lasts for 5 over 6 of an hour each day. Today, she has been in the class for 2 over 5 an hour so far. So, how much more time is left, left in the class? So, 5 over 6. So, since tinatanong yung how much more time is left in the class, so subtraction yan. So, 5 over 6 minus 2 over 5. So, first, get the LCD of 6 and 5, and the LCD is 30. So, 30 divide 6, the answer is 5 times 5, 25. 
30 divided by 5, 6 times 2, 12. So, 25 minus 12, the answer is 13 over 30. So, pwede pa ba natin in lowest term yung 13 over 30? So, hindi na. So, that is the final answer na. No? Na doble lang. So, pwede nang hanggang dito lang yung uh, solution natin. So, 13 over 30 when R is left in the class. Left in the class. Next, Stephen name wa swam 4 fifths of a lap in the morning and 7 fifteenths of a lap in the evening. How much farther did Stephanie swim Stephanie swim in the morning than in the evening? Okay, so first, so analyze the problem. So since ang tinatanong naman dito, how much farther did Stephanie swim in the morning than in the evenings? So yung difference no, yung between morning and sa evening nung na ano niya, nalangoy niya. So, 4 fifths minus 7 over 15. So, LCD ng 5 and 15 natin, that is 15. So, 15 divide 5, the answer is 5. Ano, 15 divide 5, the answer is 3. Times 4, that is 12. Minus 15 divide 15, that is 1. Times 7, that is 7. So, 12 minus 7, the answer is 5 over 15. So, pwede natin to i-lowest term, yung 5 over 15 so the answer is 1 third. So, step and you swam 1 third of a lap farther, farther in the morning. morning. So, another. A carpenter had a piece of wood that was 15 feet okay. So, again, a carpenter had a piece of wood that was 15 feet in length if he needs only 10 and 5 twelfths feet of wood, then... Uh, okay, so nag next ang presentation natin. So, ulitin natin. So, if he needs only 10 of 5 twelfths feet of the wood, then how much wood should he cut? So, first, so meron tayong... That is 15 minus 10 and 5 over 12. So, yung 15 class, this is a whole number and mixed number itong isa. So, ano sinabi ko sa inyo kanina? Kapag meron tayong whole number at mixed number, so, gagawin natin din itong mixed number. So, paano gagawin mixed number ito? So, ito, babawasan natin ng isa. So, magiging 14. And then, since ang uh, denominator natin is 12, yan ang gagamitin natin. So, 14 uh, and 12 over 12 minus 10 and 5 over 12. So, kagaya ng... Uh, diniscuss natin kanina. So, pwede natin i-subtract na yung whole number natin. 14 minus 10, that is 4. And yung numerator natin, 12 minus 5, that is 7. Copy the denominator, which is 12. So, a carpenter should cut 4 and 7 over 12 of wood. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.